So, I've been asked by Georgie to do a live stream of my rounds in the morning. I think it could be really exciting for everybody um, as, I, as I go around and basically feed all our livestock and see how everything's going on the farm. Um, first and most important job of the day is feeding the animals because they get very, very ratty indeed. Um, uh, if you don't take them what they need at the right time, um, and I always start with the first one because ultimately, if I get this one wrong, it's not great. So it's a cup of coffee. It's just here. Yeah, okay, so that's that one sorted out. Everything's gonna be fine. Back in a minute. So now just outside, <coughs> um, unlocking all the uh, the buildings, the staff will be in soon, although we're obviously on lockdown, um, the staff who live here on site will be, will be up probably two or three hours time um, and I just want to make sure that the buildings are all unlocked for them. I've got the keys here somewhere. Nailed it. So getting the right amount of feed for your stock is really important. Um, just before coronavirus, we, we stocked up um, big, big store of feed, feed there for all the, uh, all the livestock. Um, obviously, don't want anyone to go hungry on a morning. Um, so got some fish feed here. Just stocked recently with fish, going quite seriously into the fish market. Um, it's quite scientific. That'll do. So that's the fi fish feed looked after. Um, we've got some chickens as well. Oh, there we go. That'll do them today. Um, not talking big numbers, but we're talking quality. Proper quality. Loon Shadow will wait until we pull them out of the kennel. Come on in. that we're better than expected. Um, way down the back of the hedge. Let me midge. That's wood. Some belties in the distance. That's my coffee. Really, really important part of the day. Right, sit. Meg doesn't ever sit. Meg, sit. Ooh, through the camera. Lena. Meg. Meg. Shadow. Trouble. Chops. And then we have the morning wee. Everyone does a wee, apart from Shadow, who always goes off to find something interesting to eat. So at the outbreak of the uh, the end of the world, we decided to invest in a number of chickens, which we count on for our egg production. Um, we haven't named them because uh, you know, who knows, might end up having to eat them and no one likes eating their friends. Oi, dogs! Pack it in. Chasing. Okay, let's see how many... Oh, hang on, I'm just giving some feed. Yep, I love that. Um, let's just see how many we've got this morning. Whoa! None. Thanks, chickens. Get a grip. Shut up. And here's a hedge that we planted when the girls were climbing Killy. Um, so that's our Killy hedge. Um, and then, I don't know if you can see it over the top of the 
mill there, just a few trees planted, some also planted down the bottom which you definitely can't see behind that tree and that's our Kili plantation, there were some trees we planted when the girls were battling their way up Kilimanjaro, um, so we have that as a reminder forever. And there on the island are a pair of oyster catchers. benefiting from the fact we've got a new oyster, um, new oyster, new otter fence up around the pond. It's a sad fact of life that farming is about life and death um, and often on my rounds in the morning I'll, I'll find something that hasn't made it through the night and here we have an example, a very sad moment to find one of our frogs has carked it on the electric fencing. Um, in fact, it looks like a bit of a train crash. There's one there who's attached, there's a couple there. There's another one there who's obviously given up. Um, oh golly, there's another one there. I can, actually, I'm gonna have to turn off, this is hard. Really hard. So, it's, uh, yeah, I've recovered a bit now. Um, I do we just gather up the, the fallen from the night. Um, oh. And what we'll do is we'll we'll just have a little, um, little thought about the way the world goes. Um, and I often, at this moment, think of Elton John and Circle of Life. These aren't the words, but it just fits when we're here. As I, as I just put them back. Go strong, worry frogs. So here we are at the pond, the far end of the pond. Come on, dogs. Come on. Um. Come on, Luna. Luna, come on. Um, the fish we got in here are trout. Um, they tend to be a bit hungry at this time of day, so there's one maybe sensing that we're here to give them their breakfast. A bit of food for them. Quite a nice part of the day actually, doing this bit. Meg loves watching. Don't you, Meg? Oh yeah, I love watching the fish. I wish I could fish, but I don't have opposable thumbs, so casting would be really hard. I'm an idiot. My name's Trouble. I'm just going to go in and see if I can catch one anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't really care. I'm just going to have a wee here. 
because that's what I do. And I'm so greedy, I'm just running ahead of everybody else to see if there's anything dead that I can eat. Oh look, here's something nice and nibbly. It's probably been dead for a few weeks. Oh yum, that really stinks. Dad's going to be so pleased when he finds that I'm eating it. It's so gross. Obviously it can't all be about the protein and the fish. We've got to get some vegetables in. So this year we've uh, got, gone into a bit of intensive farming. We've planted some, some potatoes and carrots, etc. Um, just a nice vantage point, the field here, uh, viewpoint, sorry, the, the field, um, which we've, we've worked hard to, to fill with, with the crop for this year. Um, yeah, look forward to all of it being uh, being ready at some point. One of the nicest jobs of the day. Feeding the piglets. Come on, piggies. Here they come. Come on. These are our lost their old spot, old white crosses. They're doing very nicely indeed. So that's it, that's my morning feed round. Um, everything's fed, pretty much everything on the farm's checked now. Um, so we can, uh, yeah, just look forward to the rest of the day, see what it brings. Bye.